Welcome to StartCooking.com. I'm Kathy Maester. To make a perfect grilled cheese sandwich, you'll need three ingredients. First, a hearty white bread. Second, two slices of American cheese. The kind wrapped in plastic is perfect for this sandwich. And third, one tablespoon of butter, which grills your sandwich to perfection. Ingredients and equipment lists are at the end of this video. Spread the softened butter on one side of each slice of bread. Lay one slice of bread butter side down in a nonstick frying pan. Put two slices of cheese on the bread. Now cover it with the other slice of bread with the buttered side up. If you only have a block of cheese, be sure to slice it thin with a knife or even a vegetable peeler, but a cheese slicer works best. To use a cheese slicer like this, just scrape it across the top of a block of cheese. Wire slicers can be scraped across the top or used in a downward motion to make perfect slices. Two ounces of cheese is just the right amount of cheese. You may be tempted to use a lot more, but don't. Too much cheese oozes out as it melts. All that extra cheese ends up at the bottom of your plate or dripping down your hand as you bite into your sandwich. Turn the stove on medium heat and place the pan on the stove. The grilled cheese sandwich needs to cook until it's golden brown on the outside. This requires peaking occasionally with a spatula. After about two to three minutes, it should be ready to flip. The second side will take a lot less time to turn golden brown because the pan is already heated up. Lift the sandwich out of the pan with a spatula and set it on a cutting board. Normally, you would cut bread with a sawing motion and a bread knife. If you did that to a grilled cheese sandwich, it would slide apart. Instead, use a large kitchen knife and with one swift downward motion, slice through the sandwich. You can add extra bits to your grilled cheese sandwich if you want. Sliced tomato, or crispy bacon, or tuna salad, or how about some rye bread with Swiss cheese, sliced ham, and mustard. Carrots and celery sticks are great to serve on the side, but potato chips are even better. Enjoy! For the ingredients you'll need, two slices of bread, two slices of cheese, and one tablespoon of butter. For the equipment you'll need, a butter knife, a frying pan, a spatula, a cutting board, and a kitchen knife.